Hello, my name is Ray Roberts, former Seattle Seahawk and member of the Seattle Seahawks broadcast team. Today, during film session brought to you by Microsoft Surface, we'll be breaking down film from Stone Foresight. All right, let's uh, go to the first play here with uh, Stone Forsyth versus Alabama. The first thing I notice about Stone is how big he is. Big, big, tall body, big, long arms, big, huge arms. So on this play, the defensive end is lined out wide. The tackle that he's running the game with is on the other side, the opposite side shoulder of the center. So Stone is probably thinking as he walks up there that this is going to be a speed rush to the outside. So let's just run the film and take a look. Pause it right here. So right there, you can see he took one uh, kick step, two kick steps to the outside, and now the defender is coming hard inside. So he has to get his body in the position to shut that down. A lot of offensive linemen will reach out with their hands, and then the defender gets into the gap between the, the tackle and the guard. But here, Stone uses his body and his feet to deliver the defensive end to the guard, and then he's able to kick back out and pick up the looping defender. On this second play, you're gonna see Stone uh, going against Ole Miss. You can see the outside uh, defender is standing up and he's in a two-point stance out wide outside his left shoulder. So right here, even though it seems like the defender may have slipped, but he actually put himself in a good position to have a power rush against Stone because Stone's legs are a little bit straight, his body is a little bit tall. So you can see that Stone gets his hands inside, which is key, and then he creates separation, which is another key, sits down and then uses his long arms to create separation and his lower body power to put the brakes on this pass rush. On this next play, is real similar to the first play. The defensive end is gonna rush inside. He's gonna switch the pass rush off with the guard and pick up the defensive tackle. And Stone has done a very good job of being able to defend the speed rush to the outside, use his athleticism and efficiency in his movement and good base to then slide back down inside to shut off that inside rush and then back outside to pick up the, the looper. So let's let that run. He's really smooth in his, in his movement and then he gets his hands inside, sits down on the defender and locks him out right at the end of the play, keeps him off the quarterback. But I wanted to show this film because this kind of shows a little bit of maybe the weakness of, of Stone's game. Because he's so tall and because he's so long, the further he has to kick back, the taller he gets in his pass sets. If you look at Stone's body position right here, his feet are together, he's leaning, his weight is over his toes, he's overextended with his arms. And so that makes a big man like him lose all of the power. It's like taking your engine out of your car, like you have no more power left. For this particular block, he did a good job of uh, staying on that inside shoulder and then running the guy around the quarterback. On this last play against Texas A&M, I just put this in there for one reason, Stone, uses all those different attributes that we just talked about. He's athletic because he sets really quick to the defender. He uses his long arms to get his hands inside and create separation from his body. And then he uses his strength to sit down on the defender and stop him in his tracks. So this, this defender's play is done before it even started. Quick, fast, in a hurry, the play is over and Stone just absolutely ragdolled him right here. At this point, this defender knows that this play is over for him. Stone didn't just let him up when he thought the ball was passed. He held him in this spot, almost on the same piece of grass that he started on from the beginning of the play to the end of the play. Uh, he has the foundation to be a really good football player. This has been another film session powered by Microsoft Surface. I'm Ray Roberts, thanks for having me.